check this out. So I recently went on the hunt for some vintage optics. And eBay was my first stop. Well, I quickly noticed that everybody there is on crack when they price their stuff. I mean, we're talking about chipped glass, cracked glass, broken reticles, dents in the tubes. You name it, they had it. Just junk for ridiculous prices. So I went down to one of my local honey holes that buys estates, and this is what I found. Good pricing, too. So I found this older Bushnell. This is perfect for a 22 or an AR type of thing. Uh, it's 2.5 by 20, made in Japan, back when Bushnell still had a few good, good items for sale. Then there was this Telstar. This has got the TV view in it, so it's kind of rec not rectangle, but kind of a half octagon thing kind of view in there. Uh, so it's Telstar Precision Optics 4x32. This is also made in Japan. Very clear, no spotting, no hazing. It looks to be in really good shape. Uh, I think this is from the late 70s, early 80s. I grabbed that up for 25 bucks. And then there was this Bush, or not Bush, no, sorry, Weaver. This is a Challenger by Weaver, made in Japan. This is in great shape. It's got a little bit of spotting around the edges of the glass, but there's a company over in Montana that's refurbishing old old vintage scopes, and Weaver is one of those, and this is on their list to refurbish. So I think I paid 20 for this. So this is one I'm going to send over there to be refurbished. And then there was this Weaver 4K that I got for $40. Glasses in good shape. It's fairly clear. It could use some refurbishing. But the patina on it is perfect for a vintage gun that's in decent shape. That also came with this original Savage Model 99 mount. This is a hundred bucks plus on eBay, and this came with the scope for forty bucks, and that's exactly what I'm putting it on is a Savage ninety nine. Then I did some horse trading, and I got this other Weaver, old steel Weaver. Traded some bullets for it, so I think I did pretty good. I found all the scopes I need. I'm just gonna send these out to that company over there in Montana and get them refurbished. And I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes, but these will go great on my 99s.